Hi everyone! Welcome back to our simple automation tutorials with Selenium in Java. Today we'll be setting up the Mozilla Firefox web driver. Let's get started. In a previous lecture we successfully set up the Chrome driver. Now we'll repeat the same steps to set up the driver for Mozilla Firefox. You can find the final working code in the materials attached to this lecture. However, we'll go through the steps as a step-by-step -step guide. Start by duplicating the code that was written for the Chrome driver. Next, we need to download the web driver for Mozilla Firefox. To do this, open your browser and enter the following search query in Google, Gecko driver. In the top search results, you should see the github.com website. Click on the link that says Releases Mozilla Gecko Driver to open the GitHub website. As usual, we recommend updating Firefox to the latest version. Once you've updated Firefox, you'll need to download the latest version of the Gecko Driver. If you scroll down a little bit on the GitHub page, you can find a note that specifies which Firefox version is required. In our case, it is version 113.0 or newer. Make sure to download the Gecko driver version that corresponds to the Firefox version you have installed. This ensures compatibility and proper functioning of the driver with your browser. To check the version of Firefox, you need to open the Firefox browser and follow these steps. Click on the hamburger menu located on the right side of the main toolbar. In the menu, find the item called Help and click on it. In the sub-menu that appears, locate the option About Firefox and click on it. An information window will open, displaying the version of the Firefox browser. In our case, it is version 115. Now, let's proceed to download the Giga driver. Scroll down on the GitHub page to the Assets section. Make sure not to miss it, as it might be collapsed. In the Assets section, you will find several options for files to download. On the Information window of Firefox, you can also see the version of your system. In our case, it is 64-bit. However, on the website you might not see the 64-bit option at first, as it could be hidden. To reveal all the options, click on the Show All button. Now, you should be able to find the file named Win64. This is the one we need to download. To extract the Giko driver file to the Drivers folder, follow these steps. Locate the Drivers folder, which you should have created in the previous lecture. If you forgot where the Drivers folder is located, you can go back to IntelliJ IDEA and find it by following these steps. Right-click on the project folder in the top right sidebar. In the menu that appears, select the Open in Explorer Windows option. The project folder will be opened in the File Explorer or Finder and you should see the Drivers folder there. If it's not present, create it. After locating the Drivers folder, you can extract the Giko driver executable into it. Now, let's learn about the rename function in IntelliJ IDEA. Right-click on the class in the left sidebar. In the menu that appears, find the Refactor item. In the sub-menu, select the Rename option. This will open the Rename dialog. In the Rename dialog, you can rename the class to Open Browser's Test Class. As we are not limited to using the Chrome driver, this name will be more suitable. Once you click on the Refactor button in the Rename dialog, the class name will be updated to Open Browser's Test Class, and you will see the new name in the left sidebar and in the editor area. Now we are going to rename the Start Chrome Driver method to Open Chrome and do the same for the Firefox method, renaming it to Open Firefox. 
Let's make the necessary changes in the open Mozilla method, which was copied from the open Chrome method. Change the word Chrome to Gecko in the system.setProperty method to specify the Gecko driver. Update the name of the executable file at the end of the line of code. Currently, it is Chrome driver, but we need to use the new Gecko driver that we downloaded. Copy the name of the Gecko driver file, which we extracted to the drivers folder, and pass it before the .exe file extension. Finally, change the name of the class for the web driver instance from Chrome driver to Firefox driver. With these changes, everything will be updated correctly. The final code will be available in the materials for this lecture. Now, let's run the code. Click on the play button on the left to execute the code and run the open Mozilla method. When you run the open Firefox method, Mozilla Firefox should open, remain open for 10 seconds, and then automatically close. Congratulations! This means that we have successfully installed the Geeko driver for Mozilla Firefox. In the next lecture, we will learn how to set up Microsoft Edge WebDriver. We hope to see you in the next video. Happy testing!